It's Daniel, and today we're here with Rachel and Ra Caleb. Rachel and Caleb. And tell us a little bit about yourself, Rachel. Tell us about what you're pursuing in your life right now. Um, so, after Caleb was born, he had some health issues, some issues with his heart and lungs, and um, he was in and out of the hospital the last, you know, eight or so months. This last month was the first month without an admittance to the hospital since he was born. So that was awesome. Um, and basically, mm -hmm. we have um, decided to pursue Caleb's Law, which is an organ transplant non-discrimination law here in Nevada. Okay. So explain why you're pursuing that, how, why it's important, and how you decided to go in that direction. Because it's not something that you were completely aware till oh till your till yeah. Caleb was born. Right? Yes, yeah. So um, I had no idea that people with uh, disabilities could not get organ transplants in Nevada. Okay. I had no idea that um, we that the state or the medical system doesn't see people with disabilities as worthy mm -hmm. as typical people, um, and allowing them to get on an organ transplant list or even allowing them to get into contact with an organ transplant center. Um, doctors will usually just put the wall up uh, automatically right. and not even make it an option because someone has Down syndrome or someone has a disability. Yeah. Um, and I just didn't think that was right or just. And so I started to do some research and um, seek out other people who were passing the, uh, similar laws in different states. And I got into contact um, with the Pearl family. They live in Louisiana. And in 2019, they passed Evie's Law, which is a similar law to what we're doing here in Nevada for Caleb mm -hmm. um, and the disability community. And yeah, and so I just wanted to make sure that him and anyone who comes after him um, and anyone now in this day and age who needs an organ transplant can get one. Yeah. I mean, and that means a lot to you, obviously, because you have your son, Caleb. Yeah. And, but also to me, because I have my daughter, Bella, who, yeah. who has Down syndrome, but also all the other families, all the people out there with Down syndrome that um, we don't, sometimes we don't realize that we don't have to accept things for what they are, right? Exactly. We, we have options to speak up and change them. And so accepting everything as it is means that you're only going, you're, you're kind of limited into the direction that you're able to go. Yes. But you actually stepped out of that those limitations not just for you but for your son and you're helping a bunch of other people yeah i mean i f like i feel like i um like god gave me a kid with down syndrome for a reason mm -hmm. and um i he's equipping me to do something on a larger scale for our community not just for caleb but um for our for our for las vegas and for nevada and then hopefully one day for you know everyone for nationally and i would and I would love that. I mean, I feel so passionate about this and um, just so passionate um, in being an advocate for the Down syndrome community um, to make the world a better place for people like Caleb and Bella. Correct. Well, we appreciate that, obviously, you know, immensely. You know, you're, you're moving in a good direction. You're helping a lot of people. And it's a selfless cause because it's not like you're going to find a pot of gold or of money at the no, end of the year. No. But, but in reality you are because what it is is that the happiness, the, the good that you're doing is, is a bigger payout than anything materialistic. That you're doing. Exactly. And um, the, you know, the reward here is that people will get to continue to live. <laughs> you know, because yeah. people who need a life-saving organ transplant are usually in hospitals on ECMO um, not having a good quality of life. Mm. And people usually use that in the organ transplant debate with especially people like like Bella and Caleb who have Down syndrome. Um, and they will say, no, they won't have a good quality of life, when in reality they have great qualities of life. Yes, um, amazing. And he has amazing, like, better. And not only that, but their, their quality of life improves your quality of yeah, life. Yeah, 100%. So it, it's like little, like, bits of love thrown into humanity, you know, like, yes. mm, love there, love there. I say we were blessed with a little extra love mm -hmm. because that's what it, his extra chromosome is. Like, yeah. it just makes this world a better place. It does. And I know from, from experience and from, and I know exactly what you feel when you say it because 
you, you can only really truly know what somebody else feels if you've experienced it yourself, exactly. right? Yeah. And it's an amazing feeling. <laughs> yes. So, um, let's go a little deeper into how you're trying to pass Caleb's Law, the actions or the steps that you're taking or taking in that direction. Yeah, so first off, um, when I started to research um, organ transplant non-discrimination yeah. here in Nevada, different cases, reach out to different parents and different advocates um, who may have had a problem with this kind of situation here in Nevada directly. Mm -hmm. um, and I was able to find some families, talk with them, see what they needed during the time that um, they were going through this discrimination process of doctors telling them, yeah. hey, you know, you're not going to, like, I can't give you this organ transplant or we can't even consider you for this organ transplant. Correct. Um, and so I started to research and then I started reaching out to other families who have done this, done similar things in different states. Um, we got partnered up with a lawyer who is actually has a, a daughter with Down syndrome. Okay. And um, another he, connection. yes, <laughs> definitely the lucky few community for sure. Yeah. Um, and we basically, they helped me draft Caleb's Law. And then since then, we um, have just been putting it out into the media as much as we possibly could. Social media, Facebook, Instagram, um, interviews with different people, radio stations, um, t you know, TV interviews, and that sort of thing. Here? Um, <laughs> here, yeah. yeah. Trying to raise awareness for exactly what we're doing for the community okay. um, and how we're going to do it. Yesterday, we met with Senator Scott Hammond. And he um, agreed to pass Caleb's law because he is actually passionate about children with Down syndrome. Okay. He has um, kids of his own, and actually, uh, while well, he he coached basketball and coached a kid with Down syndrome for nine years, and so I it was way better than I expected when yeah. I walked in. He had already made up his mind oh. about. Uh, and I mean, so how do you? How, what do you have to think about when you're? when it's good you yeah know? like if you're doing something that's not so good then maybe there's something to think about but when it's all really for good intentions and a good cause and good results yeah what's there to think about exactly right enough. Caleb <laughs> right okay. Benny and then so let's go into a little more detail about how we're going to be working together yeah that right? way we came up with a little project that we're yes. collaborating collaborating on yes right. um so we're, You're gonna be kind of like a docu series. Yeah, we're gonna be <laughs> we're gonna be chasing you around the city, yeah. um, raising awareness for Caleb's law, Correct. and um, you know once we get to Carson City, hopefully you guys yeah. can see the testimonies. And yeah, well if if we have to go, we'll go. <laughs> yeah, you know, whatever we have to do. And maybe you guys could even talk about it um, and how much Down syndrome means to y'all and of course. and it means the world. Bella and. Um, because, you know, this isn't just for Caleb. Yeah. It's named after him and inspired by him, but it's for all of our exactly. kids. Exactly. No, and and that's, we're all a family. Correct. Yes. So. so that's that's the same thing with Evan Bell Adam. Like, it's named after my kids, but really it's something that's for everybody. Exactly. It's inclusion for, for everyone. Yeah. yeah. And for, the same equal for, rights for those with disabilities and without. Exactly. Yes. I mean, <laughs> why is there even a discussion about it or even... A choice to be made. It, it, it's something that just should just happen naturally. Yeah. It shouldn't have even been divided to begin with. Yeah, right? no, and yeah. I don't think they're definitely, like, people with an extra chromosome are definitely more alike than different. Like, they're blessed with a little extra love that makes them exactly who they are, yeah. but they also, um, they see the world differently. They see the world differently, but they are, like, just like you and me. Yeah, but it's not necessarily a bad thing that they see the world differently. Because no. they don't see all the negativity. And exactly. They can just focus on the good. The good and the love in the world. I mean, I've been in the Down syndrome community. I've never had more hugs in my life. <laughs> yeah, true. From older, from older people as yeah, well. Because yeah. they could be 30, 40, 50, and the first thing they think about is giving you a hug. Yeah. And they remember you. They yes. remember me. Like, I met some of them, like, once, or, like, I was at an event, and then they see me like, I remember you. Yeah. And they give me a hug. It's, it's, it's a good feeling. Yeah. No, I totally yeah. agree. There's it's Caleb. <laughs> He with likes the to thumb. suck his thumb in his mouth. Yep, he, loves, he yeah. loves his thumb. I have a three-year-old that we can't get that thumb out of his mouth oh. still to this point, but why? Right. I think that's going to be Caleb. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Nothing wrong it's with okay. That. At least it's the thumb. So how can, um, 
people support your cause, is there a place um, where they can reach out to you? Yeah. Social media, website? So, um, on Facebook, we're under Caleb's Law NV. That's where, and Instagram, same thing, Caleb's Law NV. We post Somewhere all, around here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we um, will be posting all of our updates and that sort of thing there. A little bit more about um, the uh, the effectiveness of a non-discrimination law for organ transplant here in Nevada. Um, and then also just to raise awareness for those that are different and with disabilities. Um, there's a lot, you know, going on in our community right now, and we're really up and coming. Las Vegas is growing, growing, growing. And um, as it grows, all I want to do is make Las Vegas a better community for those with disabilities. And it's because of people like you, people that actually stand up and go towards the direction of good. Yes. Yeah. When there's so many choices to be made. Yeah. There's so many choices. Um, but yeah, so, and then there's also a p petition that they can sign at change.com um, change uh, for organ transplant non-discrimination. So make sure you guys log into all the, all know, the wherever, I decide, wherever we decide to put it, it'll mm -hmm. be on there. The information is there. Support Caleb's Law, support Rachel, support her family, mm -hmm. support the Down Center community, um, because there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. No. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with yeah. it. Yeah. And it's what makes sense. It's what's yeah. just. Like, they're just as worthy as me and you, if not even more so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, and so, do it for him, do it for Bella, and do it for all the other kids, because they deserve it. For everyone. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Rachel. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Peace. <laughs>